Hi guys, Paul here for Tech Freak TV. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to sync your audio using Movie Studio Platinum 12. So first off, obviously you need to have the software installed. So I'm just going to open it up. It takes a few moments to open and then I'll show you how I line up the audio. You, know, you tend to find that with your camcorders or your digital cameras, the audio tends to be a little bit lightweight. Me personally, I use the Zoom H2N and a clip on mic with all of my videos. And then obviously I just line the audio up afterwards and uh, get a much better sound. Okay, so what I'll do first off, so I need to bring in some files in here. So I'm just gonna bring a, a video file and I'll bring in an audio file that goes with it. So we'll go with these two. Okay, so now you've got the video file on this side and I've got the audio file on that side. So I'll bring that down to here. So now you've got the, the video file there. And what I'll do is I'll bring in um, the external audio. Okay, so now what you can see here, this is the audio from uh, the Zoom or your external source. And then this is the audio from your camcorder. So what I'll do, first off, just to show you, you can mute the sound individually. So here you can see that it comes up mute. So what I'll do is if I mute the sound for the external one for the zoom, I'll line these roughly around about right. Okay, so now if I played it, hopefully what you'll hear is the audio from the camcorder. What I'll do, let me skip forwards first and then I'll explain that beginning bit afterwards. Hi guys, welcome back. So here we have the Acer Aconia A1 7 inch tablet. Okay, so there you can see that that was the sound from the camcorder itself. So what I'm going to do next is I'll mute the sound on the camcorder and I'll play the sound on the from the zoom. I'll do the same again. Let me just jump forwards a little bit and then I'll play it. The Acer Aconia A1 7 inch tablet. So. Okay, so those are the two audios there that you were listening to. So now you'll notice here what I've done is uh, you can see that there's three. Um, sorry, I did that the wrong way around, didn't I? There you go. Right, so now what you can see is this is the audio here and there's the three peaks or the three lines. So that's just following the three clap rule. So obviously you start your recording, you clap three times. And all that is, is just giving you an idea where you can line your audio up. So now as you can see from here, they're almost in line. I doubt if they're perfect. So what I'm gonna do is play it, both audios at the same time, and just to see how that sounds. But you want to listen to the claps to see if it lines up correctly. Hi guys, welcome back. So here we have the eight. So there, hopefully you can hear that, that the claps were out of sync ever so slightly. And when you're listening to the vocals, it's, um, it's out of sync. There's a bit of an echo. So although that looks like it was pretty good and it was pretty lined up, um, it's still not quite right. You shouldn't be hearing the echo. It should still sound as one voice with both the audios playing. So what I tend to do is zoom in on this. So if you scroll forwards or scroll up on your mouse, you'll notice that this wave increases in size. Across here you, at the bottom, you can move along your audio line. It does move pretty quickly. So when you're close by, what you want to do is obviously just move in increments by using the arrows here on the left and the right. So I'll bring that so it's in the middle. Also what I'll do, I'll bring this up a bit more so you can see that just a little bit better. So now you can see where originally you thought you had that spot on. You can actually see that this audio is quite far out between the two. So what you want to do then is I'll drag this one along a little bit here. So now you can see there's a slight peak before the clap starts and there's the same slight peak here. You can zoom in a bit more if you wanted to just to look at it a bit better. So I'll bring that there. Okay, so now if I start the audio from here 
and I'll play the two together, it should sound hopefully like one voice. Hi guys, welcome back. So here we have the Acer Aconia A1 7 inch tablet. Okay, so now you notice that the echo is gone. Um, it does actually sound a lot better. It sounds like it's one voice. Although I have actually got two, um, both audios playing at the same time. So what I'll do, I'll play them together and then I'll play them independently so you can hear the difference in the sound. So here we have the Acer Aconia A1 7 inch tablet. So we're going to be doing an unboxing. So at the front, as you can see here, there's just an illustration of the tablet itself. Some more images on this side. Okay, so there you can see that's playing independently between the two. So now that you've got this set, the next thing you're going to want to do, you can do it one of two ways. You can either leave this video strip in there um, and obviously leave this in but then all you can do then is just mute the audio on this so then what happens is it will play you can do your cuts um, drag your pictures in any other text uh, do your transitions but what I prefer to do is to delete this audio file and merge the video file with my external audio file so it's less confusing you've only got the one on the screen so what you're going to need to do to do that is you can either, whether it's the video part or the audio part, right click and you'll have a menu here. If you move all the way down to group and then you've got remove from, left click remove from or you can press U on the keyboard. So I'll click remove from. Now that I've done that, you'll notice that this is now a separate file. You see, I'm able to move the audio. So now that I've got that audio highlighted, I just press the delete button and now the audio is gone. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, you don't want to move any of these two because we know that we've got this video is in sync now with this audio. So what I tend to do is click the end of the track, the audio, the very beginning track, and then I'll hold down the left mouse button and move that up. Now, because it's not moved from that line, I know that that is now in sync. So if it came up here somewhere, I know all I need to do is butt it up to this line and they're now in sync. Okay, if you hold your control key and then click, so they're both highlighted, so left click both the audio and the video, right click either one and you want to go back to group and create new, or as you can see, the fast key is G. So now that's created a new group. So if you move, they both move together in sync. All right, so that's how I tend to do it. Then obviously, like I said, the three claps, you can cut those off. I will be doing another video in, in more depth that shows you how you can do uh, some nice intro text, how to put your transitions in, cut and do all your editing. So for now, that's just how to sync your audio using Movie Studio Platinum 12. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.